welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to show you how to make Valentine's treats at home. I sell them here, but I'm going to teach you how to have some fun at home and to do it on a cheap budget with everything that you can buy from the grocery store. So, what we're going to do today is bake some pretzels. We're going to dip pretzels in caramel and dip them in chocolate. We're going to take pretzel twists and dip them in chocolate. We're going to take um, pecans and mix those with caramel and make chocolate turtle hearts. And we can sprinkle them with nonpareils. This is just a little idea um, and it gives you an idea of what we're going to work on today. So we have these chocolate melts. You can find chocolate chips, you can find other chocolates at the grocery store, or you can find chocolate melts here at Cynthia's Sweets. Um, and those are made for the home cook. They are made to set up nicely, they have a nice shine to them when they're done, and it is literally um, better than using chocolate chips or something else from the grocery store because they will set up nicer uh, for a better presentation. And the taste is pretty good. So, anyway, let us start with um, how do we make a car caramel turtle. Um, a caramel turtle part. So we're going to take our caramel, but you're going to take them and you're going to place them in a bowl and then you're going to put them in the microwave just to get them soft enough and pliable. The bowl is going to go in the microwave for a total of like three seconds to five seconds. Okay, but you do not want them to be hot. You can scald yourself on caramel, it can hurt really badly, and so you're just, just going to get a little bit soft. So you want it to be pliable, so you're going to um, now put your hands in, this should not be at all even warm to the touch, it just be room temperature feeling. So you're going to take a little caramel and you're going to roll it into a, super, uh, a ball the size of a super ball. Okay, and then you're going to, like you're playing with Play-Doh, you've rolled it in a ball and now you're going to roll it into a snake or a worm with your hands, even as you can the whole, the whole way through, stretching it out a little bit. And then you'll take your pretzel stick and you'll smoosh the caramel onto the top of it. You hold your caramel out to the side just ever so slightly and you'll turn the pretzel and the caramel is going to wrap around the pretzel and voila you have now a caramel and chocolate pretzel. And you're going to place that down now until you've done with your other things and you're going to place that down on a well greased or well um, sprayed a piece of wax paper or parchment paper because otherwise it will stick. So you're, again, you're going to take the um, caramel, roll it in a ball, and then I'm um, just flatten it. And then you're going to put pecans inside, and you're going to fold it up so that the pecans are now hidden. You can't see them. Roll it into a ball as much as you can. Don't play with it too much because the softer it gets, the more it's going to stick to your hands. Then you're going to press it to make it somewhat flat. And then you're trying to try to make it into a heart shape. Now it's time to dip into the chocolate. Again, okay. So we've got, um, what I'm suggesting you use is chocolate melts. You don't have to add butter. You don't have to add oil to them. You don't have to do anything. You can put them in the microwave. Not in a glass bowl. The uh, glass is just because it looks nice. But um, you're going to take that and dump it into a plastic bowl. And you're going to put it in the microwave. And microwave for 30 seconds at a time. It's not going to look melted, but you're going to uh, stir it anyway because otherwise it's, it's starting to get warm in the middle and you don't want it to, um, to get too hot. You're going to put it in the microwave, uh, 30 seconds, stir, put it back in the microwave for 30 seconds, stir, um, and then keep doing that at 20 second intervals until it's melted, which is anywhere from 3 to 4 minutes. And uh, once your caramel or your chocolate is all melted, then you're going to take your, um, let's start with the hearts. We're going to take the chocolate heart. And we're going to throw it in the chocolate. We're going to bury it with our fork. And we're going to squish it around just ever so slightly. And then we're going to pull it out, tap the sides, scrape it so we have all the excess chocolate off, and place it down on our cake. Okay? And onto the pretzel rod. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to hold the pretzel rod. We're going to dip it into the chocolate, twisting as we do so. The more chocolate you have in the bowl, the easier it is to work with with the pretzel rod. Um, if you need to, to uh, use a spatula to help you put it on, like if you need to use a spatula to help you drape it like this, that's also fine. Um, the idea is to get a lot of chocolate on it, and then you can place that down. And now what we want to do with that one, those do look really pretty with sprinkles. So you would take some of your sprinkles, and you would just put those on, preferably before you put it down. You can 
do that. So then you're not putting it down in a mess. And then we finally, finally, we have our um, pretzel twists, the large ones. They're heart shaped, I think. So we're gonna, again, throw them in the chocolate, dip down, and we pick it up again, we tap it, and we place it on our paper. Now, this should take about a um, total of 10 minutes to set up. After they've set up, you can, you can see what it looks like. They have now, this is the final result. We've got our pretzels, we've got our um, caramel turtle, and if you want a pipe, you can do that. And then you can take those, if you want, and put those in saran or little baggies or something and actually make a little presentation such as this. And happy Valentine's Day.